Yes, hello, sir. I have returned. How about trading you some things? Here's some sticks. Here are some rocks. Here is a fried egg. What is going on, geeks? Unite the Clans here, back in yo life. Back in yo life, with some Don't Starve Shipwrecked, and damn, has it been a while we got what I can only call unfinished business in this game. This was a Let's Play series I had going uh, before Firewatch came out, and I was secretly hoping that I would die and we could finish it up so that when Firewatch ended, we would not have to come back to it. This game stresses me out. I'm never going to be amazing at it, but we'll try our damnedest. Now, we're deep. I'm having the best run I've ever had. I think we're on day, yeah, 14 with Walani, the surf chick. And uh, we have a giant berry farm. I went on a practice run last night and I played and I went 20 days deep with Walani. I felt good and I got in a groove, but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to die instantly. So this, of course, I think is episode 14 of Don't Starve Shipwrecked. We're going to be diving into it, and this could easily, every single one of these could easily be the last episode in the series. We're going to go as Wolani. We're going to continue where we left off, and I'm going to try to get my bearings back and hopefully not promptly die. <laughs> All right. All right, let's quick take a look at our map. So we are, we have explored a lot. God, this is going to take a while to get myself back to it. Giant berry farm up here, a couple of surfboards, got a crock pot, got... Yeah, that's our whole little island. Okay, cool. And we've got this Yarktopus up here. We've got a bunch of islands, including monkeys down there. More islands. I don't even know what stage we're at and what we need. The run I did last night was pretty good. Why don't we just get into it and I'll see what I can do. Uh, overall, we're actually in decent shape. Do I have some armor? Yep. Do I have a spear? Yep. Okay. Things could be a lot worse. Uh... We got some monster meat dying there. We got berry bushes that need fertilization. So why don't we drop a few berries on the ground? We'll turn those into rot. Actually, I just need a little bit of rot. So why don't we drop these two? And I'll set those down. And we, uh, we'll pick these ones back up. That's seven. Why don't we drop those? I'll take these. There we go. And we'll see if we can't find more stuff to put in the crock pot. We obviously have monster meat sitting here. Uh, I don't have very many of these sweet potatoes in the old inventory right now. We need some meat. Meat is key. So let's see, maybe, is there sand on this island? There's no sand on this island. So let's see if I have any traps, and maybe we'll go see if we can't trap some crabs. I don't see any traps. Not at all. Okay, so, uh, God, see, this is the stress. This is where the stress comes in for old UTC. Uh, if I get over here, can I make a chest? Yes, I can. Oh, nighttime's coming. Good. So we'll make a chest, and we'll stick in it things that are valuable, but not urgently needed. Poop. Boat repair kit. Bottles. These things are great. Gold nuggets. There you go. Oh, look, I guess I do have a little bit of stuff in my inventory. We need some trees. We need some wood. Axe? Do I have an axe? God, see, getting your bearings back after being away for a while, you're so just primed up to die. Um... Last time I played, guys, I mentioned I started a run last night. And when I did, I did pretty well. I had a massive set of walls. Uh, I had built the uh, windproof chimney. I had the crock pot. I had the drying rack. I had a much bigger berry farm than we even have now, uh, just by luck, having found a good spot. Uh, and I still managed to die 20 days in with walls and everything. The hounds attacked, I think, for the second or third time. And I just panicked, and I went to go switch to my suit of, oh, yeah, 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 get a torch going. There you go. I went to go switch to my log armor, like this, and instead of clicking equip, I clicked add fuel, and I threw it in the fire. And then I panicked and tried as quick as I could to make a limestone suit to protect me against those hounds. My health was already in bad shape. I, uh, I deserved every damn thing I got, I'm pretty sure. All right, let's see if we can't get this crockpot roaring. So let's, oh, open. Yeah. So let's go sweet potato. Let's throw a uh, limpet. We'll go two limpets, maybe, and a berry, and we'll cook it up. 
All right, crockpot started. We'll keep this fire going because that is absolutely essential. And then we'll think about maybe collecting some stuff to build walls for ourselves. We got the alchemy engine. I mean, yeah, I guess building a better boat would be wise. Let's see what sort of path we're on when it comes to boat. Like, I, I like to ride Walani and the, the surfboard as long as I can. But if we could get a serious, you know, there, cargo boat. So six boards, three rope. Boards, rope. Okay, that's cool too. That's the same amount of stuff, but with shells, which I have plenty of. So why don't we try that? Tomorrow we'll go out and we'll get ourselves geared up to make some rope. Do I? Yeah, I can make all the rope right now. One. Whoops. Two. Three. And then uh, we'll just go out and get ourselves some... Oh, look at what we've made. Inspect. Monster jerky. Tough to chew and crazy making. <laughs> and what did we come out with? Some ratatouille. Cool. Uh, let's try. Let's see if this makes us crazy. Yeah, it does. Monster, that's still not the best way to use monster meat. The best way to use monster meat is to make those meatballs, I think. Um, how many trees we got on this island? We must have some trees over this way. So I'll grab my axe. We'll collect ourselves some uh, some wood, and we'll get started on uh, a boat. I'm thinking the cargo boat, we, maybe we get a cool sail on it. And then that'll give us the ability to actually go fishing out in the ocean and things like that. And the added benefit of that is chopping down these trees means we're going to come across some snakes, obviously. And coming across snakes means monster meat and snake skin, which I know for certain we can use uh, in some boat-related uh, recipes. I always talk about this song. I talk about this song and how it gets me. I feel good when this song is playing, when I'm playing some Don't Starve. I think this is only a shipwreck song, but oh, okay, hustle. Okay, where's my, oh, yeah, get speared, get speared. Okay, snake skin it is. Our inventory is so full, so full. Let's just, uh, uh, Plant? There you go. Yeah, that, that song, I think it's called Work or Working or something like that. It makes me feel like life is good in uh, in the world of Don't Starve. Uh, I haven't had anything bad happen while that song plays, so I probably have some positive associations with it. How much do we need to make a log, a plank? What's it called? I need four. And I need six. So that's 24 wood we gotta collect, if I'm not mistaken. Just for the basics. I might be wrong. If we have any planks in our inventory, we'll make it happen, but... It doesn't look like we do. And you know what? I wanna flatten this jungle anyway. The jungle's full of danger. Full of things you gotta worry about. Oh, speaking of, there goes the axe. And I appreciate you guys tuning back in. Clicking on this video when it says episode 14, and I know a ton of you people are new. Um, that, ta that takes some guts to go, yeah, I'll dive in in the middle of a series where I have no idea what's going on. Frig it, guys, I have no idea what's going on. So we'll think of this as a fresh start 15 days in. It absolutely is a fresh start in that sense. Um... Yeah, I know uh, Firewatch was great for my channel, and the giveaway that I managed to do, the contest, it drew a lot of new eyes to the channel. So if you are new and you are tuning in, this is a game I love, and I, I played very, I think, over the course of uh, maybe a month in uh, uh, January. And, um, I, you know, not necessarily eager to get back to, but I absolutely hate leaving unfinished business. I hate setting out to do a thing and not doing it. So, uh, I have on my mind right now, getting back, getting back and, and at least bringing this series to a good conclusion. And if it only takes one episode for me to die and let us call it quits on this thing, so be it. But I'm hoping we get another few out of it. I've, I've had no real excellent runs in Don't Starve. Even when I think I'm doing good, I'm, I'm not, you know, like a, 
I thought, you know, 15, 20 days, that's good. You don't even get into the second of four seasons after 20 days. You got to go 21 days to get to the second season, if I'm not mistaken. And this inventory is a mess. Dried seaweed. Let's just eat that. I don't know what I'm saving it for. And are we all... Yeah, we have 24. Cool. So this is extra, and I'll grab everything else that's lying around on the ground down here. And we'll head home, and we'll make some more recipes. Bananas. Ooh, cool. We'll have to come back for that. Just grab the logs for now. And... Yes, leave the rest. I've also live, stream, uh, live streamed some of the regular Don't Starve, the standard game. Uh, and... That's pretty fun, too. Especially if you can get together a little Don't Starve Together with a group of people. So we do this, and I think we do it with all these. And what we get is meatballs, which were delicious. Uh, while we're hungry and whatnot, let's eat this ratatouille. And maybe... Maybe we'll get some eggs cooking? Yeah. Oh, I just ate it raw. Why? Why would you do that? I don't know any good egg-related recipes. Y'all are welcome to hit me up in the comments. I'm probably going to record uh, three episodes in this sitting, assuming I live long enough to do so. Uh, so your advice might not get to me immediately or for the next episode, but it may get to me. So we're going to do some bad limpets, an egg, and some, some berries, and we'll see what comes out of it. It's probably going to be some wet goop, some really nasty stuff. All right, are we ready to make some planks? There. I need six of these. There. And it's time to build an amazing boat. Do it. Cargo? Row? Oh, just have to be close enough to the alchemy engine. Armored boat. Cool. We have made an armored boat. Is it too close to nighttime for me to actually get this thing in the water? Where's the nearest water? It's this way. And it is too close. It is too late in the night. That's all right. Hurry up. Put it in the water and run back to your fire. All right. Now the next bet, the next game plan. God, night drops fast around you. Before you even realize it, it's dark as hell. Keep that fire roaring. Oh, what did we get? Crockpot inspect. I cooked something. Yum. What? What did that say? Fist full of jam. Preserve those jams. Huh. So we made some jam. Interesting. Cool. Well, I'm going to eat that. And why don't I eat some of the, a couple of these eggs, too? Yeah, I'm feeling good about what we got going on here. Why don't we see if we can make another recipe? Uh, I might as well throw these berries in, right? With maybe a little coconut, and we'll see if we get some more jam. A little coconut berry jam. Who knows? All right, the next goal for us is a sail, probably, for that boat, so we're not paddling it. We've got boat repair kit, so thatch sail. I know we could get that within a day. Cloth sail. Huh. Snakeskin sail. I think that's the one. I think that's the one we're after. So we just need some rope, uh, some logs. The rope I can make uh, right now, and the logs I already have. So we'll just have to go out tomorrow and see if we can't get ourselves some snakeskin. I'm surprised I don't have any. I must have some. Maybe I put some in here. Maybe I did. No, I didn't. You'd think I would have snakeskin. We're 15 days deep. I guess maybe I briefly lived on another island. Did I have a home base set up on any of these? I don't see fire pits, which would be your indication that I had, I had called a place home. And once we have this big boat, we could head back out to this Yarktopus. He's a giant octopus that trades with you. Basically, the shipwrecked equivalent of the pig king uh, from standard don't starve okay the morning has come we are off in search of wood uh which ooh, i gotta remember to plant some of these damn coconuts we're supposed to have a bunch of trees around here trees are urgent uh snakeskin right snakeskin is what we need so uh we got a machete yes we got a machete so we'll go in and we'll just start chopping at some bushes. We'll see if we can't, you know, get some snakes to come out and pick a fight with us. Come there. There you are. You little. F yeah, get chopped. Snake skin. Thank you. All right. I need another snake skin. There. I got gotcha, you, you freak. There. 
there. I think that's what we need. Uh, my health is not great, so let's, let's cram. Oh, there's another one. Give me some monster meat. Let me make some meatballs for the road, you disgusting creature. And I guess I could pick these up. This will this will keep the tree monsters away if I manage to pick up these up and replant them, right? That's how this is supposed to go down. You know what? I've gone deep. Uh, usually when I recorded this series the first time around, I would wait until about the 10 minute mark and I'd take a little break. Um, I think that is what I'm going to do now. We're deeper than that end of the episode, but... I am going to take a quick break. There's going to be a commercial in the middle of this video anyway, so I might as well plan it. And I'll come back with you guys when I am have a snakeskin sail and we're hitting the open ocean. All right? Here we go, guys. We have a snakeskin sail. Can I put it on this thing? Maybe I can't put it on this thing. What a clunky looking board. Yeah. Oh, maybe I can't. Equip. Okay, cool. And we also made a boat torch, which... Is that on right now? No. Good. So, the sail is supposed to be heavy duty. I know the basic one takes a hell of a beating. Let's wander back down to the octopus. Let's see if he won't even discuss matters with us. I think what happens is you trade him resources in exchange... I'm not worried about darkness. Please, I got a freaking torch on the front of my boat. Yes, hello, sir. I have returned. How about trading you some things? Here's some sticks. Here's a snake skin. Nope. Here are some rocks. Here is a fried egg. Here are some berries. Uh, here is a fist full of jam. Grass? Vines. Okay, fine. It's almost nighttime. We're headed back. What a waste of time this stupid bastard is. Let's turn on the old boat torch, okay? And off we go. Yes. Man, that sail. That sail is boss. That snakeskin sail. I am so glad we made that. And yet another frustrating little evening there. I thought that that dude would... I'll have to do some research, guys. We'll count that as a plan for the future episode for today. I mean, I guess... You know what? Why don't I see if I can't build that high-tech, heavy-duty chimney? What's required? Some sand and some limestone. Let's make that the plan for the next uh, the next day. And uh, once we have made ourselves that heavy-duty chimney, we'll call it quits. I guess for tonight, we got to start a fire in this crappy one, right? There we go. Ah, uh, fire's a little too big, but we'll survive. And look at that. Health almost all the way back up. Eating seaweed. Feeling good about this. Ah, uh, we've got a, a stick farm. we got a berry farm. We have plentiful, plentiful grass around us here. we got sweet potatoes as long as they last, which is definitely a finite resource. And yeah, I guess the goal will be take the shovel and make sure we hit a sandy island and maybe pass by some coral on the way. So what's the best plan to get some sand and some coral? Coral to the south, sand is also to the south. We'll do that. In the morning, we'll hop in the new boat and we'll go see. Yeah, yeah, we'll go see about that. T stepping it up a notch, getting a, a fire that won't blow out on day 21 when the stormy season blows in. Or wet season, or whatever the hell it's called. I can't remember which one's which, but we're in one now. And it's gonna end in another five days. Hopefully, this series will continue throughout that time. Oh, keep... Yes. Look at the berries grow back fast. How do I still not have any rot to fertilize these last two? It's fine. You know what you need? You need torches that, like... You can put in the ground like an arc. You need a torch. You can uh, you can just stick in the ground and light light the length of a path. So the idea is to do what again? Yes, uh, coral, which we get from limestone, and uh, some sand, and we'll make the chimney, the heavy duty fireplace, and we'll call that the end of this episode 14. I think we're doing pretty well so far. For a first day back, I'm not dead. I'm not dead, and the episode is quickly approaching its conclusion, which is a wonderful thing. So, 
We need a pickaxe, which I brought with me. And we'll just pick some of this coral. We'll get some wet, soggy coral. Not a problem. Okay. It's not called soggy coral, is it? See, this is where the sailboat... The sailboat's great for long distances. It's not as good for this. Because once that sail fills up, it's a pain to... Your boat just has a, mo a momentum of its own. Let me mine this thing. Oh, my pick broke. That's why. Use your brain, dude. Use your... <laughs> I can be a dodo sometimes. I think I need nine. I think... Maybe not. Maybe it's only six. Can I see that right now? How do you make limestone? Yeah, and how many do I need for that fire pit? I need two. So we got what we need. Let's just go get some sand. Out of the way, you damn dogfish. Can't teach an old dogfish new tricks. And somewhere down here, I believe, is a sandy beach. Please, tell me. Tell me there is on the other side of this damn mangrove. Yes. Okay, cool. And we gotta think after that, next episode, I think our next goal, we're gonna be thinking about fishing. Either fishing or coming down to this island, chopping down a ton of wood and building up some heavy, sturdy, defensible walls. That's what I wouldn't mind doing. Uh, and where's that shovel at? Yes, let's dig. Oh, monkeys. Yep. And this is where we get a trap for some crabs at two, I think. But that's a, that's a plan for another episode. I think I have the basic resources I need to get together that heavy-duty chimney and get a fire started in it on day 17. The longest I've gone on camera, on on the channel. I've done better in the past. As I mentioned, it went 20-odd days in my warm-up run to get me back in the mood of playing some Don't Starve Shipwrecked. But you guys haven't seen that. You haven't seen me do anything near as good as this. In fact, it was... Almost, I would say, the series was all but an abject failure until I decided to play with Wolani. My runs as Woody, as Wilson, and as the unbelievably charming Tom Hanks were all failures. And I guess that's kind of... It's a little bit what I like about this game. I like that you're never gonna win. You're never. It's never gonna be over. It just is, and you got to come in here every day and see if you can do better. It's a real test of your willpower, your ability to learn, all that kind of stuff. Because when quitting games, when you're not good at them, that's easy to do. People quit things they suck at all the time. Not quitting the things you suck at, that is a special uh, task, a special feat or ability. So, here we go. Made it. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Where's the hammer? We'll just bust up this old fire pit. Garbage. Useless. You call that a fire pit? I don't. And we have to think about if we're going to be building walls around here, how we're going to do it. I say the new fire pit has to go right here. I think. And I know it's not quite nightfall, but we got a fire. We got a fire, and we have a unextinguishable fire. I mean, we still have to keep this thing going and light it, but the wind ain't gonna blow it out when the weather gets bad in a few days. Next goal is certainly gonna be some defenses, and uh, when the seasons change, we are gonna get to fishing and fishing on the open water with this gorgeous new snakeskin sailed armored boat we've thrown together. I'm stoked. I'm excited. And that's gonna do it for this episode 14. I managed not to die. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will be back with you with episode 15 in just a couple of days. Oh, feel the warmth of that fire. Yes. What is going on, Geeks Unite the Clans here, back in yo life with another brand new series. This is the Rusty Lake Hotel. It is a macabre, creepy, point-and-click adventure game.